In this lecture, we will discuss the meaning of Giffen goods. Giffen goods were named after Sir Robert Giffen. These are those type of inferior goods whose demand increases with increase in price. Note that all Giffen goods are inferior goods, but all inferior goods are not Giffen goods. If you are not familiar with normal goods and inferior goods, then for now just keep in mind that inferior goods are those goods which have an inverse relationship with income. So if your income rises, then you consume less of it. For example, off-branded ketchup. On the other hand, normal goods are those goods which have a direct relationship with income. So if your income rises, you consume more of it. Example, branded ketchup. You may follow the link in the description for a brief discussion on normal goods and inferior goods. Coming back to our discussion on Giffen good, let us take an example to understand this. Say there is a poor household and their monthly minimum consumption of food grains is 30 kilograms. They consume two goods, bajra and wheat. Out of these two, bajra is an inferior good which is much cheaper than its substitutes and claims a large part of their income and wheat is a normal good. Suppose that they consume 20 kgs of bajra and 10 kgs of wheat and bajra is priced at $5 per kg and wheat at $10 per kg. So their total monthly expenditure is $200 and this is what they can afford. If the price of bajra rises to $6, they cannot continue to consume the same bundle as it will now cost $220. So they will have to alter their bundle in such a way that they could get 30 kilograms of food grains in $200. To do this, they will have to reduce the demand for wheat by 5 kgs and increase the demand for bajra by 5 kgs. So now they will consume 25 kgs of bajra and 5 kgs of wheat and this will cost them exact $200. So the demand for bajra has increased from 20 kgs to 25 kgs despite the increase in its price and this violates the law of demand as well. Though we have just discussed an example of a Giffen good but evidence for the existence of Giffen goods is limited. But microeconomic mathematical models explain how such a thing could exist.